What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back. It is Thursday, November 9th, and we're getting absolutely killed today in the market. Not really, I'm not killed because we've had worse days, but we're down about nine grand right now. I'll post a screenshot of the stocks, how they're doing right now. It's around noon and everything's red. But um, I took this opportunity to sell my Microsoft calls because they were in the money. So I sold my 10 calls, picked up 10 new calls, and I'll show you on the screen in a minute um, what I did, what I bought. I just, I just raised the strike to go out of the money and then bought 10 more calls. So I spent less money on those which gave me a little bit of extra cash. I was gonna buy some more puts uh, on Kohl's. Actually, I don't have any puts on Kohl's. I was gonna buy puts on Kohl's, but I decided to buy calls on Weight Watchers instead because I saw on the TV the other day, they were up like 300% this year. And looked at the, and I looked at their chart and they were actually at like $60 at one point, so like a few years ago. And they're still below that now. And since they've been increasing so much this year, I think they could probably get back to 60. And so I just bought three calls for Weight Watchers with a January 2019 expiration, $55 strike. And so I'm gonna let that one ride out and hopefully they'll go in the money. We, we can make some more money on them. So that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna try to take this opportunity that stocks are down. My girlfriend was wanting to start investing. So I'm gonna help her open an account and see if we can get into some Tesla because if all the stocks are down today, today would be a good time to buy, hopefully. So knock on wood that they go back up. And so that's where we're at. Uh, I gotta cut the grass too. I got a tutor today. So we're probably just gonna come back and see how we did when the market closes. All right, see you then. What's up guys, welcome back. Um, it is 7.47 p.m. and let's just see how we did. All right, so we actually made a little bit of a comeback at the end there. We were down to like 182 something or 183 and then we came back a little bit, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We only lost about 6,200 bucks, 6,300 bucks. Um, I was expecting this morning when the Dow futures were down like 200 points, I was expecting a much bigger loss, but then they came back and the Dow finished down 101. So they made up about 150 points uh, today at least. So that was awesome. Um, so let's just look at the trades real quick again. Sold my Microsoft calls that were in the money that split up into two. I sold 10 of them, so it split up into two orders here. Then I bought 10 new ones out of the money at $90, but still close to where their current price is because it's safer that way. And then I also bought um, some calls for Weight Watchers because they're killing it this year. And so let's look at our top performers today. Square did very well. Um, I believe they reported earnings yesterday, and I was reading up on it. I guess they missed a couple on couple guidance or a couple estimates, but they beat on others or something like that. It was kind of mixed, but they were down originally, but then they actually finished up today. They did pretty well, so we did very well with that one. And then um, what else we got? T-Mobile and uh, Sprint both went up today, so that was pretty cool. We don't have much money invested in them, though, you can see. <laughs> so I kind of just bought those in case one of them merged with the other, and then one of these skyrocketed. I was hoping to make like a pretty good return, but it looks like that's not happening. But they're still pretty solid companies, so yeah, I'll hold on to them for a little bit. Um, and then we got the blockchain did well, and yeah, I mean, not that many, though, that did well, because look at how many did poorly. <laughs> Quite a long list, doesn't even fit in the window. But, so let's, we'll talk about the ones that Albemarle did bad, Macy's, which started the day bad, but then did really good, which kind of sucks. Let's look at that. They finished on the top of the list today. I don't know how that happened. Freaking Macy's. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's just go back to, the, let's just go down on the watch list and, we'll, and then we'll wrap up with some news. So we got Macy's on top, Amber, Crowley, and Fitch. A lot of the clothing stocks finished up today. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I, I feel like when tech stocks do bad, like other sectors do well and vice versa, but <clears throat> that's just me. We got Target, The Gap. I mean, look at all those clothing companies that did well today, and I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, let's go to the second page. Ooh, Domino's Pizza did well. Phew. I gotta start eating more Domino's Pizza. <laughs> all right, so we got Citigroup. I think we're in there now, I forget. Universal Display. Man, what a beast Universal Display is out of all of our tech stocks. And you'll see when I do the stock recap, uh, you'll see they were like one of my the very few companies that we own that finished well today. Oh my gosh, Kohl's finished up today too. They were down 3% pre-market. I almost bought puts on them. I'm glad I didn't because they finished the day up. I still should though because I, I don't know how much longer they'll be around. But anyways, Apple, Amazon. I'm kind of just rambling here. I don't. Want, there's so much to talk about all the time, so I apologize. Tesla, still in my opinion, humongously awesome buying opportunity for them. In fact, my girlfriend just started, she opened up an account today at uh, TD Ameritrade and 
Uh, we got her into Tesla. We got 10 shares for her. And hopefully, and we also got OLED, you know, and uh, what was the other one we got? Apple. And hopefully, they'll, she'll see some returns with that one. And then Adobe. Okay, let's just wrap this up here. Netflix. And then that. All right. Twilio, not a good day for them. Oh, hit escape. All right, so with... Uh, so our top performers today is Square. Um, I was reading an article about Square that was saying, let me just go to it. This one guy who wrote the article um, said that he saw that they beat on top line. So which top line is like they, they beat on sales and revenue. Uh, they missed on earnings. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, they beat on the top line. They missed on the bottom line. He says it's okay in his book because it's a growing company. He says he'd rather see them beat on revenue and miss on earnings as opposed to the other way around. And um, stock was down earlier, but he said that's a great buy opportunity. But then they finished up today. So Square is just a really good company, solid company. They help with mobile online mobile payments, like with credit card swiping and stuff like that. But they're also in the venture capitalist game now. So they also do loans to businesses. And that's, that's just something that's always going to be around, like this guy was saying. So that revenue will not be going anywhere anytime soon. And so Square is still a really, really good buy for him. He says the title of this article was Square Inc. Stock is still a shooting star that's worth a buy. And I've been investing in Square pretty much this whole year. And I agree. I, I think Square is a really good company. With NVIDIA, okay, so they reported earnings today after the bell. And they uh, posted a profit of $1.33 per share, which handily topped the Wall Street estimates of $0.95 cents per share. And so their stock is up after hours. It went down and then it went up again and down and up. It was kind of bouncing around, but I, I believe it's up right now. So hopefully NVIDIA has a good day tomorrow. I was considering buying a put for NVIDIA or like selling half of my calls and buying puts just to like mitigate the risk, but I'm kind of happy I didn't because NVIDIA is just a solid company. So like I said, I gotta go with my gut. I like NVIDIA. I like the CEO. Um, so I'm just gonna hold on to it. And yeah, so uh, on the gaming front, it says that NVIDIA saw revenue pop 25% year over year. Uh, to $1.56 billion, making up more than half of the company's total revenue. On the cryptocurrency uh, side, they did see that revenue drop by more than half to $70 million, But the CEO, Jensen Huang, said that um, he sees crypto being around for a long time. And he says the best setup for like mining is a CUDA GPU, which is what NVIDIA makes. And so he feels like they could, they could still see some growth in the future. So yeah, there's that. And then um, it's the demand for the company's graphics chips, uh, let's see. So it said the revenue was also aided by its data center business, which saw its revenue skyrocket 175% year over year. That's amazing. There was a higher demand for large scale customers working on artificial intelligence. So yeah, AI is the future and NVIDIA is doing a lot in that space. So can't go wrong with NVIDIA. And so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, some guy wrote uh, was on the news talking about why Apple should buy Netflix, and he brought up a really, really good point that Amazon is kind of the 800-pound gorilla in the room now with, with streaming. I mean, people think Netflix, but yeah, like they're pretty much on top, but Amazon was catching up fast. Like They were like the 16th ranked streamer for a while ago, then they, went, they moved up to number six, now they're number three. And so if Apple wants to be able to compete with them, they need, they need a little more bit of help. And so he, he provided a lot of good points, valid points as why they should buy Netflix. And they already have the infrastructure for the streaming and all that with their devices. He said it would just be a really, really smart play for them. Whether or not Netflix would actually sell uh, was a completely different question. But and, but if any company has the money, it's Apple. In fact, they just hit $900 billion in market cap yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned that, but if I didn't, yeah, $900 billion. I'm pretty sure they're the most valuable company in the world. Um, and they might be the first company to hit a trillion. So. But Amazon's not too far behind them. So anyways, yeah, Apple's just killing it right now. Um, so with that said, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment below if you have any questions or comments and share with your friends if you want to get into investing and you want to show them a channel where you can learn a lot if you're just starting out. I really would appreciate it. And thank you guys so much and hope you guys had a great day. We will see you tomorrow.